Good morning, you beautiful people. How are you today? Um, I'm actually doing pretty well. I'm, again, doing another get ready with me. As I've stated, I have to get ready almost every morning when I go out. I don't record every morning. I mean, that would be a little overkill and, you know, whatever. And I'd feel like I need to start planning what I'm saying. And right now, that's kind of not what I'm wanting to do. I'm uh, staying away from those planned um, issues where I have to actually think. So um, we'll get back to those soon. However, thank you for joining me. For those of you that are new, my name is Erin. And this is Angel's Beauty with Erin. And these, I do multiple videos. Um, we have some talking about Evil Lives here, the ID channels. Um, document or series that I have become obsessed with that series uh, kind of spurned into a whole get ready with me cult edition so um, and then I just have my basic get ready with me as we talk and catch up and I do my makeup before I go out for the day so I'm going to be getting back on schedule for the other two series in October sometime not yet sure what date um, it's just been so crazy this month, um, and then I've got my vacation coming up, so I just need to take a little bit of time, um, and more than just a week or so, because that's what I was trying to give myself, just a week, um, to really catch up and, um, breathe, because like I said, I've been so crazy with work, we're crazy getting this vacation together, and then trying to do those videos, I was, I was really just stressing myself out, so... And I do have a, some things going on with myself. And, you know, I just needed a break. But I didn't want to take a break from these uh, makeup videos. These are what I love. This was kind of what started the whole having my own page. And started on the Facebook group. Get um, Ageless Beauty with Erin. There is still quite a bit of content over there of... Um, makeup looks, um, trying new products, so on and so forth, which I really like doing these with new products. Today I don't have any new products. We're just getting ready and I thought today we would just kind of catch up on my upcoming vacation. So if you're new, that was a long intro. I apologize, but thank you for joining me. I hope you enjoy it. Hit that like button. Um, don't forget to subscribe. I'm sure um, one of the other series, which you can go back and catch up there's not that many cults. I think I've done two. The third one just kind of blew my mind and I've been, I was stuck on it. So that's part of the reason too. I'm trying to get unstuck. But there's plenty of evil lives here. So check those out. And um, don't forget to like and share for you, for you that keep coming back. Thank you so much. Um, it means the world. And I'm not, um, I see you. I see you. And I appreciate you. So. Let's just get started. Um, today I'm just doing a basic look. I'll talk about the makeup as I go, but like I said, I thought we could talk um, my upcoming vacation. I just had my hair done and I got some lashes with a little bit of a, a pink and a blue um, peekaboo color. I actually, I love them. So um, yeah, let's just get started and see what we can find to talk about. Okay, so as you undoubtedly just saw, I have primed my face, got my under eye cream on, my serum, and my moisturizer, and we're going to jump right into it. I'll show you what I'm using. I'll pull it up, just let you see it. Um, there will be a description below showing or telling you what each item is. If you need a link to said item, let me know. I'll be glad to link it over. Um, otherwise, let's just jump right into it. And um, I absolutely love this... Um, Prime and Protect from Coats. Coats. It's um, got SPF 40, but it's a primer. So yesterday I used it before I went to my, um, I was getting ready for my morning appointment. And it was early, early morning. So I didn't even try to record it. I wasn't even up, up enough to know what I was doing. And um, as you can tell by what I'm getting ready to say, I put this on and <laughs> use it as a foundation. I didn't mean to. I just completely jumped straight into um, 
contour and blush and everything. And then I was done, literally done with my makeup. And I'm like, didn't put foundation on. But it looked fine. It actually looked really well, good. But um, yeah, so I'm glad I didn't try to record yesterday because I was all over the place. But um, this stuff is really nice, as you can tell. Um, if you've watched some of the others, I had the Smashbox um, Tinted Moisturizer. And I was using it more like a foundation because it wasn't moisturizing. Like this stuff comes on. This is the primer. I have the moisturizer as well. And they both go on so smooth and so nice. And I feel like it primes and it um, blurs my pores while giving that um, hint of color, which the halo color is a yellow on me. And I'm not, it, it settles nicely and the foundation goes over it really well. I won't say anything bad about it. But it's, uh, this stuff, I really wanted to like hate the Smashbox. I'm, I'm a big Smashbox primer fan, but um, this was the Tarte Stay Spray. But um, yeah, no, they didn't do it for me too well. So, but yesterday using this, it um, without foundation was just fine. But today we're using foundation. So let's catch up. How have you been? Yeah. No, it's, uh, I've been good. Things here, like I said, and I won't keep harping on it, but things have been good. Things have been kind of crazy. Um, but that's okay. Right? We survive. We survive. But no, um, it's nothing bad. No, no, nothing like that. Don't, don't, don't get me wrong. But, um, just crazy. But a lot of it, too, has to do with my upcoming um, vacation, which I'm so excited. I'm down to, I believe, that four days. So this time in four days, I will be on a plane headed to a tropical location. And I could not think happier. We are going out of country, which is, I'm sorry, it worries me no matter what. I mean, I remember my daughter is 24, and she, um, in high school, so we're talking, she was probably 16, had received this invitation to study abroad, and um, it was a couple different things. It was a study abroad where she lived, and then there was this one um, where she visited for like a whole summer and did stuff, and I... I was terrified back then. I was like, no, you can't do this. And I, we didn't. We ended up not letting her do it. In the state of the world, eight years ago or more, it's not nearly what it is today. So whenever I go or even consider going out of the country, it scares me. But we're going to do it. I'm, I'm really excited to do it. So it's a kind of a no brainer. I'm really just, I don't know. I'm excited. I can't say anymore, but my time has been, I'm pretty much, I'm not packed. So everything is laid out. I think my house is a disaster zone right now, but everything is, um, look how nice that looks. So plain. It's, blah, 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 blah. it's just like so smooth. Anyways, so yeah, my house is a mess. And then you take in that my husband, who's supposed to, he's been working. He had one day off of work. And instead of packing and getting ready, he decides to do some housework. And he's doing stuff all day, like mowing the yard, washing the cars. I'm, I mean, just some stuff I can understand. The, the yard needed mowed and he wants to get it done before we leave. He'll do it again this week. Um, but the cars... He had so much he needed to do, including rest. Now, that is where it really comes down to it because he worked so much he never rest. I wanted him to rest. I knew he wouldn't. Spoiler alert. None of us were shocked. But, anyways, so he's going to start. He's got some stuff laid out and a pretty good idea of what he's taken. But he's going to probably start, I think he said, tonight. Though, God, love his heart. So, um... He's been so over the moon with us about this trip, and I am extremely happy for him to be that excited. But um, 
he's been buying stuff and just, and not, don't get me wrong, he never buys himself anything. So for him to go out and do this, I'm just like, yes, he needed it. But at the same time, I'm like, God, he's driving me nuts. <laughs> he has just been um, so focused on this trip. I mean, he really is. And that's fine. I mean, that is um, 100. I'm not ready at all, guys. I don't have any of my stuff out. He's 100% all into this trip. So it's good. It's cute. Like I said, he never buys himself stuff. And he still hesitates when he buys something that's a little expensive. So, uh, for example, he is a golfer. He's not a, you know, he, he does it for a hobby. He and his um, buddies from work like to go out. And then he joins the um, work league. And um, scrimmages and anything like that. And he has a group of friends that he goes out with. So there was this... Uh, pair of pants that he really wanted for Mexico and it um, they were expensive they were like 80 something dollars and he wasn't gonna buy it for himself I was so mad because if I said something to him I'm like Chris I love this and it's like 80 something dollars he like put it in the car we'll go you know no problem so he'll buy it the money wasn't the problem he won't buy it for himself to me, that's a problem. So I told him, I said, dude, you either buy that now or I will come back tomorrow and pick these up for you. I said, don't make me come back tomorrow. <laughs> and he went on and he bought it and thank God. But I told him, I said, you know, golf isn't cheap anyways. And you wear certain clothing and whatever. I said, so you wear these pants in Mexico, but you'll wear them elsewhere too, right? So it's not like it's a one-time use. He will, he'll get much use out of it and that's fine. It's like I told him, I said, you know, our anniversary is down there when we'll be down in uh, Mexico when, on our anniversary. And um, I bought this really nice, fancy dress. And um, I told him, I said, it's for our anniversary. We'll wear it on our anniversary. We're going to get pictures taken at the resort, at the beach, whatever. So, you know, I wanted something really nice, something fancy that I'll probably never wear more than one time, right? It is gorgeous, but it's not something that's going to be an everyday wear for me. I told him, I said, I spent $30 on this dress. I said, if I was looking at it and it was $80, we would have a problem because I wouldn't do that for a one-time wear. So, you know. Anyways, he bought the pants. Spoiler alert. So, anyways. Um, I don't really know what we're doing. Oh, I, was talk I don't know what I was talking about. I was talking about um, the packing part of it. So, it's, uh, yeah, there's been, uh, it's, it's been interesting in my house. I just don't even know what else to say. It's just been interesting. But, um, yeah, we are... Uh, I'm going to have to take a minute because I can't do this and talk. So, um, yeah, we got to um, get finished packing, which, like I said, really for me just consists of putting it in an actual suitcase. I didn't want to do that yet because um, I don't want my dresses to be completely wrinkled, and they're going to be in the uh, fancy one. I'm already going to have to try to figure out. I'm going to have to steam it or something when I get down there. So, anyways. But we do leave um, 
in four days that mo in the morning we are going to we're leaving out of the Cincinnati Airport Northern Kentucky Cincinnati Airport and um, so we're headed up um, we're going to stay up at my husband's brother's house the night before our ride our plane because um, we have to be there so early and it's like hour and a half drive from my home to the airport so I'd rather not do that at four or five and or three or four in the morning yeah no it doesn't sound like a good idea to me or it doesn't sound like a good time to me so we're gonna go and um, stay somewhere we had his brother offer we had his sister offer we even considered doing a hotel but there's no need for us to pay you know for the hotel right when we've got options so we're staying with a sibling and um, car pull over. I think we're getting an Uber. I don't really know what we're gonna do with that yet. So anyways, we're not, I know I think the Uber was an option so we all wouldn't have to pay for a week of parking. Thankfully, whenever I traveled, never really had to do that. When I did, my work paid for it, so, you know. So I'm using a lot of Fenty today and a lot of Tarte. So, um, the contour here is Fenty Matchstick. My concealer was Fenty Pro Filter. My spray that I'm using, setting spray, is Tarte. Foundation was Tarte. My bronzer, when I put it on, will be Fenty. So it wasn't really planned out that way. It was just kind of what I grabbed this morning. But that's okay. Good products. I don't mind using. I don't mind using good products. So anyways, we're staying at this all-inclusive resort. And oh my gosh, it looks amazing. And we follow this page on Facebook. It's a fans of the resort. And um, you know, uh, there's been some pretty honest feedback about what to expect, what to do. You know, people love the resort. It's just crazy. Uh, they talk about they've been back 30 times. There's one person that keeps talking about going back and it's their 30th time. And I'm like, dang, how freaking much do you love this place, right? But I hadn't known anybody that actually had been there. You know, and we try to um, get some honest feedback and you just never know how honest these fan pages are, right? Even though there are some people that really tell it like it is. They're not you know, I won't say mean or anything, but they're like, okay, you need to expect this, 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 and this. This is good. This is not so good. Blah, blah, blah. You get what I'm saying. Well, yesterday I had a meeting, and um, it's funny. It's funny because one of my coworkers that he just started, he's a sales rep. He's out of the Cincinnati area, and um, I guess a couple months ago, we were at this, a meeting together. We're on the same team, but we don't always see each other because... I do the Kentucky area, he does Cincinnati, so um, even though my home office is in Cincinnati, I don't, you know, go to Cincinnati every day, and um, so we were, he was actually in Louisville, and um, we got to talking because our company's holding this big event on days that we're going to be out of town, so we were letting our manager know, hey, don't forget, I'm out of town these days, yada, 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 so he and I started talking because he's out of town on the same day as I am, and it turns out that um, he's going to the same place I'm going, not the same resort, but the same location. Excuse me, and we got to talking, and um, so it's funny that one of my sales reps is gonna be in the same location that I'm in. However, I was talking to another rep yesterday at a meeting, and this guy wasn't there. He was in Cincinnati on the team's call, and um, he was asking this guy, this other guy was like, where, where are you going? Where are you staying? And I was telling him, and he's like, oh my God, I was there last year. And he was talking about it. So he's actually stayed there and talking about it, what to do, what to expect, what to eat. 
and he was like, you're going to love it, blah, blah, blah. So that was amazing because, like I said, we follow this fan site, but this was this person I actually know and trust. I've been working with him for three years. He and I have been friends for that long, and um, yeah, it was really, really cool to hear somebody that I know has actually been to that resort and uh, tell him about how much we're going to love it. And, now, of course, I, he was showing me they have these, I don't know what they're called. They are, to me, they kind of look like a monkey, but they're, I don't think they are. Um, the, people compare them to like a panda, not a panda, a, a raccoon, just because the way they steal food and um, get into your rooms and stuff, and apparently they will, and I just think they're adorable. And I, he was like, oh my gosh, there were so many of them. I can't remember what they're called. I think they start with a C. I'd have to really look that up. But um, anyways, so he was showing me video of him feeding these um, creatures and them taking food out of his hands and uh, how cute. I mean, they were just adorable. But I have been seeing online where it says, beware because they will steal your food and whatnot. So then there is this iguana there. He's huge and he hangs out at the resort and they call it, his name is Kevin. I mean, Kevin has his own little fan page. That's how popular Kevin is. And um, I think I, I might still have pictures. Give me just a second. I'll see if I still have pictures of him. Of course I do. I don't know how good you're going to see it. So here's Kevin. Ah. Uh, just trying to... I mean, look at him. They get they set out food for him. He's huge. And I really hope... Here's a, here's a picture. Here's a, mm, a video I did of Mr. Kevin for my son. And I'm really hoping we see him. I mean, is he not? Look at him. He's so cool. And though I've seen video of him swimming in the um, pool. Um, I mean, he just, he has his own room and board. I mean, he is a popular dude in the area. So I just think that is so cool. Just amazing. And um, there's a, a, oh, stop it. Let's see if I can find, because I think... I sent a picture of okay so there's also crocodiles they find in the pool but yeah that's not so cool um, and then the ocean looks like a big old log but then here are the Koti this is the little um, creatures that come up and eat out of your hands um, they're a member of I couldn't tell you they're mammals but here's one, someone took a picture of him and they're um, <laughs> just chilling on the chair in the deck. So, I mean, it's uh, it's amazing. I am so excited. I'm looking forward to it. I hope it's just as good as, they, as we think it will be. And um, talking to my sales rep, he's like, you're going to have a blast. It's, it is everything you hope for and more. So, if so, I know we've talked about going back. If it's just as good as it is and if we can get the same deal because dudes the price that we got for this thing is ridiculously cheap so we're saying oh, you know if we can um, do that again we'll take the kids so I think that would be fun taking the kids down there so we'll see our fingers are crossed we are very hopeful that this is going to be a great great time and I just realized brushes for my eye makeup okay I think I'm ready so yeah I mean it's uh it looks like it's going to be a blast and I think some of the excursions that we're looking at doing now I told my husband I said you know I don't want to spend it all planned out I want to relax I want to do things but I also want to be uh, I don't want to be on a schedule every day right that's what a vacation's for but I do want to enjoy something. So we are talking about a few things. I don't know if we'll do all of them or just narrow down. I really want to do the sea notes, which is swimming with, there's a cave and you snorkel in the cave and there's sea turtles. I mean, it looks amazing. Oh, I got something in my eye. Go away. Go away. But, um, hmm, give me a minute. I thought I had it out and I didn't. Um, so, um, yeah, it looks amazing. 
My husband wants to go visit the Mayan ruins. I think they're Tulum, Tulua, I don't know. There's a couple of ruins that we can go to that aren't too awful far away. So we may do that. That would be pretty cool. I can't say I would disagree with that. That would be really, really cool. So we might do that. Then there's um, an ATV. Um, you rent ATVs and go through the jungle. Oh, that would be so cool. But, you know, like I said, there's a couple other things like a horseback riding through the jungle. I don't think, um, I wouldn't mind, but I just don't think with everything else, I don't want to just plan something every day. Because on our anniversary, I don't know what he has planned on our anniversary, to be honest, if he has anything planned. So that morning we're getting up and we're going to go get uh, pictures taken. And I'm really excited about that. We'll go down, we'll get some pictures, and um, all dolled up, whatever. Then we'll probably go home, or go home, go back to our condo and uh, change to do something for the day. And then we would, my, uh, I believe, go do something and then come back and get changed again for supper, right? That's kind of what I'm thinking. I really don't know what he's got in mind, if he's got anything in mind. So, we're gonna see. We'll, we'll see what he does. And um, if not, I can still, you know, I can go to the beach and be just as happy because that's where we are, what we're supposed to be doing. So I wouldn't, I can't say I would care to just do that too, so. Anyways, um, I know I know the girls. I don't plan to do this. I'm really kind of I'm hesitant to let people I don't know touch me as far as massages go. I've had massages. I, I you know it, when I had one, it wasn't totally uncomfortable or anything. But it's still kind of that whole point. I'm not, I'm not as bad as Allison. Like my daughter, she cannot have anybody. Massages put her in a panic. So I mean, I'm not like that. Um, I just, you know, here's another thing. If I'm going to do a massage, I can go any number of places, including Lexington, Louisville, Cincinnati, and get a good massage. I can't go to this underground cave and snorkel with sea turtles anywhere. I can't go to the Mayan ruins um, just anywhere. You know, ATV ride through the jungle. Yeah, those type of things are what I want to do when I'm down there. So I didn't do the spa day with them. I mean, they got a good deal. And if, because when they did it, they told me they got a deal for four of us. And I'm like, shit, I'm going to have to do this. I said, so I asked them, I said, well, is the... Um, the price dependent on four and they're like I'll have to find out because if it was I was going to go on I don't want it was a good deal I didn't want to um, ruin it for them right but it wasn't relying on four they could get the same price for three so um, yeah they're going to go do that and I'm not and I'm okay with that got that thing in my eye again I don't know what the hell. It's not like hurting, so it's like one of those little gooey things that you get. I, I don't know how to say it, but yeah, it's a gooey thing. So, um, anyways, I plan, that's what I um, really am looking forward to doing, going down there and doing. My husband's all like, well, what are we going to eat? Because he's so picky. I'm not. But um, part of the problems I'm having are stomach issues. So I'm probably not going to be eating a lot down there. And he is so worried about that. And I keep telling him, I'm not going on this vacation just to eat. I'm not. I will eat. I will keep. Uh, I will pick. I will do whatever I can. I'll make sure I'm okay. But I am not going on this vacation for the food. So he needs to chill out. But anyways, love is hard. I know it's because he loves me, so don't get me wrong. I am not upset that he is so concerned. But it's just like, I'm over it already. 
I always worry about doing my um, eye makeup with lashes on, but I've got some good products to help remove it without taking off the lashes, and um, I think it looks amazing. I actually really like that. This is the um, Too Faced Chocolate Gold Palette, in case I didn't tell you. Um, and I still, I love Too Faced, and part of it is, um, I don't buy a lot of it anymore. When I first got into makeup, I bought a lot of Too Faced. Like that was my primary buy. My primary buy now, if I had to narrow it down, would probably be Tarte. Um, but um, it smells so good. Like I can't even try to tell you how good this smells. If you never, um, use their chocolate stuff because it smells so much it's just chocolate and um but I, they have other items too and i know they got a pumpkin spice i know they got some cinnamon but I, they've got a lot i've just never bought any of those so i don't know but i love their chocolate Think it out. Think it out. So, anyways, I'm going to post this video this week. I'm going to try to do one more to post and schedule it while I'm actually out. Um, hopefully, I'll have time to do that because I am really busy the next couple days. So, um, we'll see. I hope so. My eyes are watery. You don't need mascara on your lashes. Just a note, you really don't. If you do, make sure you clean them good and make sure that it's not waterproof. So, just a, just a little note of concern. You really don't need it, but if you find yourself doing it like I just did, make sure you clean them good. Which I do have some really good products that I use to help clean my lashes. So, because I'm thinking I probably will continue these lashes for a while. I mean, they look amazing. I'll probably let the pink and blue naturally fall out and just continue it with black. And then maybe occasionally add some different color as I fill in. But I thought for the vacation, pink and blue would have been, it's going to be really cute. Just a hint. See? Isn't it cute? Okay. Lipstick and then I'm done. And um, like I said, this video has just been talking about my vacation coming up and um, I can't, cannot wait. I mean, I will bombard everybody with pictures. So if I think about it, I will check in with you guys and maybe post a A live or something I don't know we'll see. we'll see in the meantime here's my look nothing fancy a nice just a, a nice look for my customer today we'll be doing some um, stuff in their warehouse so no not really dressed up much I feel like this shirts kind of dressy but it's not it's kind of a shiny t-shirt anyways thank you for watching um, let me know your thoughts. I know, kind of rambled or whatever, but do you enjoy these kind of moot videos? Like I said, I have some thoughts on other get ready with me topics to discuss, and um, I'll get to that as well. I just didn't kind of do that right now. Um, maybe in my next video, I'll sit down and do a discussion. There's so many things going on. We can talk about music, books, videos, ready, you know, season premieres, um, anything like that. You know, something lighthearted that's not um, got to do with evil or death or cults or anything like that. Just something fun. So, in the meantime, enjoy your day. Be safe. Be careful. Be happy. And until next time, guys.